What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Please consider hitting the like button if this video helps and subscribing. It would mean the world to me. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. So uh, my most popular video right now is the Wave 3 setup video. Got the Wave right there. Uh, if you are looking for how to set that up, I'll put a little card right up there at the top. Go watch that video first. Get, get it set up and then come back. The most asked question that I get on that video is I have Astro A40s and it is not working with the Wave 3, Tim. How do I get it set up? Reached out to Astro and I said, hey, I'm a YouTuber. I get this question all the time. I would really like a set of Astro A40s so I can mess with them and, and figure out how to do this, how to set it up so I can put it out to my audience. And they said, you have 200 subscribers, get the hell out of my DMs with that weak shit. I said, hurtful, but heard. Um, so I bought a pet, I bought a set. I, I, I bought a, a set, a pair, uh, I bought them with my own money for this video. I didn't even need these. Um, bought them about a week ago, set them up, been messing with them. Let's jump right into it. Thank you for being here. So the first thing I want to go over is how to actually set up the Astro A40s on your computer. Now, this is going to be covering gaming on a computer and streaming from that same computer. If you're gaming on an Xbox and you're using a capture card to go into a computer and then stream, your setup is going to be a little bit different. So this is only for my PC users. First things first, I'm seeing a lot of people telling me that they're plugging the optical cable and the USB cable into the back of the mix amp and that's your first mistake. The mix amp only runs off of one cable and that's the USB cable that it came with. That cable is in charge of powering the mix amp as well as sending the audio to from your computer to the mix amp itself. So you should only have one cable going from the mix amp to the computer. Once you have that plugged in, you're going to plug the headphones into the front of the mix amp and then the other end of the cable into your headphones themselves. When you plug everything together and you plug the USB cable into your computer, your computer should automatically recognize the mix amp as a set of headphones and it will recognize you don't need to install any sort of software or anything like that. That being said, Astro does offer their own software where you can tweak all of the EQ settings. So if you want to turn your bass up and your treble down and, and tweak it, I know that there are, are a ton of YouTube videos out there on what the best settings are for certain games as far as Call of Duty or Apex Legends, Outriders, stuff like that. So you can have different presets depending on the game that you want to play. Other than that, you're really not going to use that software at all for setting up the headphones. Now, once you have everything set up, as far as getting all the cables plugged in and the mix amp has turned on and stuff like that, uh, go ahead and jump into your Wavelink software. So we'll, we will open that up and drag it over here. Now, here's how you want to set it up, okay? In the monitor mix, where your headphone selection is, you're going to want to click the little drop down, and you're going to see two options here. So you're going to see headphones, Astro Mix Amp Pro Game, and then you're going to see headset earphones, Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice. So what you want to do is click the headphones, Astro Mix Amp Pro Game, select that, and then you're good. So as long as you set everything up the way that I showed you in the setup video, that's really all you need to do as far as set up here. Now, where I'm sure a lot of people are running into issues is on the mix amp itself. So let's jump to the mix amp and I'll show you how to fix that and why it is that you're having those problems. The reason why you're probably having issues with your Astro A40s and not being able to hear your sound in your headphones is because one way to look at it is you're using two solutions for the same problem. So the Wavelink software and the Astro A40 mix amp both do the same thing. They're both soundboards, mixers, audio interfaces, whatever you want to call them. It's just that the Wavelink is a software, whereas the mix amp is a physical unit. 
So from my experience, you cannot use both of them at the same time. Here's what I mean by that. You can use the mix amp to control the volume that's going to your headphones and that will not affect the volume in your stream, which is actually a really nice feature that I did not think I would like all that much and I can control my my monitor volume through my stream deck, but it is actually very nice to just have that wheel that you can kind of turn down right on the fly rather than maybe tabbing through different folders on your stream deck or clicking a button a bunch of times. It seems to be much faster. What you can't do is you can't use that smaller knob on the right hand side to control the mix between game chat and game audio. You can only do one. Now, if you are all you're using is going to be your game chat and game audio and you don't have music or any other sound interfaces, it's strictly just game chat and game, then you may either, one, you could return the wave link, or sorry, the wave three, and just buy a different, maybe a less expensive USB microphone, or you could just use the wave three as a USB microphone and not use wave link at all. But you can't use both at the same time because you have one audio source that's going either to the wave link or going to the mix amp. You can't have one audio source going to both mixers. It just, it doesn't work that way, especially with one of them being a software and one of them actually being a, a physical hardware. You have to choose which one. Now, when you're setting up the mix amp itself, because we set it to game, what you want to do is on that right hand side dial where that controls your, your game volume and your game chat, how what the volume of both of them are, you're going to want to crank that all the way to the left so it's maxing out the game. You'll notice if in Wavelink you set your headphones to game chat, Astro headset game chat, and you have it over in game you won't hear it and vice versa with it being set to game if you turn that knob all the way to the right to game chat you will then lose all audio coming to your headset so you're going to want to turn that knob all the way to the left set it to game and you lose the functionality as far as mixing game chat and game audio but the volume going to your headset still works the astro a40 headset itself still works wonderfully you have all the presets you just lose that mix ability because again you have two solutions for the same problem and science and stuff it, it just it doesn't work you you can't do it um, I know that that's not the answer you guys wanted to hear but that's how you set up the Astro A40s with the Wavelink and still be able to use the mix amp to a certain degree as far as controlling volume and the, the presets and EQ settings, stuff like that, and be able to use Wavelink. Guys, hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like on the video. That would really, really help me out. Uh, if you have questions or if it did help you out, ask me in the comments and or let me know in the comments like hey thank you um you guys blew the wave three setup video up and that is one of my favorite things is to go through and read all the comments of the people that that i helped out uh and or the guys that people that have questions on it um i'm always checking it i i constantly have my phone on me so anybody that has commented on a video knows that i answer very quickly i appreciate it so hopefully I see you guys in the streams. Uh, again, thank you guys. I love y'all. Have a good one. See you next time.